Hello and welcome to the 74th tutorial in the CodeCuts 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the UI element, UI label BM font. It stands for U uh, label bitmap font. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. CodeCuts 2D JS provides us with a UI extension which contains loads of UI elements enabling us to create great menus, hoods, etc. In this tutorial, you will look at the UI label BM font element uh, and this allows you to create a label using characters from a font and image file. Before we can code any UI elements, you need to add your extensions or include extensions into your project and to do, do that it's really simple. Open up your project.json, open up oh, open up in a text editor, and then on this line we say modules. Put a comma after Codeplus 2D, quotation marks, and in here you just put extensions. That's it, that's all you need to do to include the extensions. Now we just minimize that. And now what we're going to do is add the assets for the characters of our label. So I've got it right here. So we're doing UI label BM font. So what we have is a PNG. I'll open this up for you. And this has all the characters that we're going to be using. And then we have a dot font file which basically has the coordinates and the file that it needs to access it, aka this one. That's the great thing about a BM font over an Atlas font, whereas with Atlas font you just have an image, you specify the width and the height of each character, and you have to make sure that the width and the height of each character is the same. But whereas with this, the font just deal with that itself, which is great. So recommend BM font over Atlas font. So yeah, let's just copy and paste this. Go to res, medium res. We've copied it and pasted it in the medium res as that is what the browser is using. But you will need them for all three resolution folders if you plan on publishing for uh, platforms other than the web. So now what we're going to do is go to our source, resource.js, and here for a comma, and we're going to do label bm font underscore png folder plus and then the name of our file so bitmap font test 2.fnt you don't need to include the PNG the font file has all the information regarding the image so we're all good there so let's just minimize this and now what now that we have our extension module included and our projects I mean our assets added to our project what we can do now is just go ahead and code our UI label BM font I'm going to comment out this sprite and now var label bm font equals new ccui dot text bm font label bm font dot set fnt file and in here we're just going to do res dot label bm font uh, underscore png now label bm font dot set string and in here we're just going to set some sort of string and for this I'm just literally going to keep it simple and say bm font now label bm font dot x equals size dot width divided by two label bm font dot y equals size dot height divided by two now this dot add child and let's add the label bm font now let's just run this so if we just open up terminal cd to our project directory let's just uh, close this down yeah that won't work because they don't have a space so let's just drag it again run the project Okay, let's just open up terminal. Perhaps it's still trying to load the assets. There we go. Sometimes this takes a little while, and that's just because it's uh, just adding the assets to our project or the cache. So, yeah, there we go. We have BM font loaded. It literally is that simple to create a font using BM uh, a bit more. So, let's just quickly go over what we did. We created our font, we sent we set the font file which we declared in the resource.js, set the string, 
and now here we set the X and Y position for the label B and font you can also set the position like this or you can set it like this either way is a okay obviously the great thing about doing it like this is if you only need to affect let's say the X position you can just affect the X position it's that simple and then we just add to the other chart as we have done with our other nodes you can use a tool such as glyph designer to create fonts uh, for label BMs and in the next tutorial we will cover using the UI label if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at .co.uk. the email will be in the description you can comment on this video just directly message us via YouTube or the required link for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day